Hello and welcome to the online Bell for Art Trail. I'm Sarah Miles and it's really nice to have you back if you have been to the physical Bell for Art Trails before. Uh, but if you never have, then also it's great to have you here. So let me tell you a bit about myself. This is my studio. I use the conservatory in my house. Uh, it does get a bit hot sometimes, so sometimes I have to go find somewhere cooler to paint. Um, I mostly paint uh, fairy tales and folklore. I like to portray those into uh, paintings and quite often there are things hidden in there. Uh, but I also paint a lot of animals and uh, anything to do with nature and wildlife. Um, uh, there have been a few changes in my life. Uh, including <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> so the new things in my life include my baby Samuel uh, he's six weeks old um, I was pregnant with him during the pandemic and when I found out I was pregnant with him um, I decided I'd do, start doing some illustration uh, which is something a lot of you who have been, come and seen me before at Belper have suggested that I do and now I finally am. Having the illustration to do has been great because the pandemic uh, caused me to have to cancel all my art classes uh, which was a right shame but I'm really glad I've had the illustration and plenty of commissions like this massive one here I had to be getting on with <laughs> in the meantime. Sorry darling, the other thing I've been doing more of um, are watercolours. Uh, that's something my students asked me about to do my watercolours with them. I'm more of an oil painter really but uh, I'll show you what, how, how I like to use them in a minute, the watercolours. Uh, and it's also been great for Sam because I've been able to do my watercolours and because they're so much cleaner I don't get any paint on him like I do with the oils and they're much easier to tidy up. You're right, that was a good bird, wasn't it? So, um, without any further ado, I shall show you uh, a little demo of how um, I've been using watercolours um, and it's going to be how I make the textures uh, shown in my wildlife watercolour series, uh, particularly the one Rutting Stacks. Here's a picture for you. Okay, ready for the demo. Off we go. So to start with, I put down a lot of water and then lots of paint, uh, watercolour paint. Um, and I'm, I'm very free with it. I just chuck it down, block it in, because what I'm trying to do next is then create some textures. For these textures, I need lots of leaves um, and some salt and a bit of cling film. That's, uh, that's all I use. As you can see, I'm just adding more and more water to make things bleed out. There's a particular kind of watercolour paint called Prussian Blue, and I find it really does bleed beautifully. It looks like an ink when you put it on. And you can add it to other colours to try and get it to do similar things if you wanted. I made the colours quite bold and vivid for this one, because I really wanted the salt and the leaves to show up uh, really well. So I've put down salt and that will create speckled effects and now I'm putting down leaves and I'm just pressing them down, making sure the paint's really wet so I can get a good print. And then on goes the cling film. If you've got packaging, old packaging, you could just use that. So then after that you have to um, leave it overnight with lots of weights on top of it. I use books. Uh, you've seen me just take those off and then you're left with really beautiful leaf prints. So just to be clear, um, I leave my uh, weights on top of my watercolour paper for for a whole night so probably anywhere between 12 and 24 hours I end up leaving them on for just to make sure I've got really good prints and then I'm just going to finish off um, 
uh, rut and stags. This isn't really part of the demo, but um, just showing you how the painting was completed. Um, what I'm doing here is called negative painting, where you paint around the edge of parts to uh, pick out certain details. I couldn't find the pencil drawing I'd originally made, so I had to draw it out again on some paper, cut out the stag's heads and, and then use them as stencils. <laughs> because some of the textures were really beautiful and I wanted those to show through certain parts of the stags. So if you look closely, you'll find that there are leaves actually in the stag's fur or in their antlers. Well, thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed or learnt something from the demonstration of how uh, writing stags, the watercolour, began. Um, uh, I'm in my living room at the moment and this is the gallery wall. All this stuff is uh, available, although I always... <laughs> I'll always miss this one, Beauty and the Beast, when it does go. If you have any questions or you want to contact me for a chat or for art tips or anything like that, uh, my email address is smiles-art at outlook.com or I'm also on Instagram and Facebook and my website and you can find all of those things just by searching Sarah Miles Art Studio. Okay? Um, have a lovely day and I hope you enjoy the rest of the online exhibition. It's been great to have you here um, and hopefully I'll get to see you uh, properly uh, in the flesh next year. That would be great, wouldn't it? Alright, <laughs> see you later. Bye!